I'm Peter Dorestein, and I'm a professor at the Skag School of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences at the University of California, San Diego. Could you please talk about how you are using a Facebook-like tool to increase collaboration among researchers? Yeah, the Facebook type tool that we're building is the social infrastructure being built together with Nuno Bandera in computer science at UCSD. Um, one of the key ways that it allows you to collaborate is that you share all the data. It becomes publicly accessible and that's really one of the key aspects. And so you build communities around your data of the people that are interested in it. So you can actually have different communities that can be built around this type of an infrastructure. And they do their annotation, but when they do their annotation, that information gets conveyed to other people. And so you really get a, a global wide learning. Right now, um, we have people from 71 countries that are already using this particular tool. And it's not yet published, or, or uh, fi you can't find it in Google. But it means that the ability to organize and visualize data is really becoming imp important. And I like the social aspect because that's how you're going to uh, find mistakes and errors. I think in the early days when people uh, talked about Wikipedia, you couldn't depend on it. Uh, now I think many people will do their first search and they will look at Wikipedia and get a lot of information. And it's becoming more and more reliable at the same time, or at least for a first pass uh, look at. And I think the same is true for the uh, a analysis of molecular information that you have the community contributing, um, then you have uh, corrections by the community, improvements by the community, and so it becomes a much more reliable resource.